Ciao familia and welcome to another YouTube video. In this video, I'm going to basically show you how to have some visible abs. Obviously, I'm not the most ripped person you know and we all agree with this, but if I put my before and after on me bulking versus now being on a deficit, you can see clearly the difference. Um, I'm a little bit more defined and today I'm gonna share all my tips and tricks for you to do the same and how to get some more visible abs. First of all, don't forget to like and subscribe because I'm about to share all my tips and tricks. Not only just mine, actually, the ones of all the entire fitness industry. Um, and as always for me, if you want me to help you one-on-one, -on -one, link down below for online coaching where I can assist you every single step of the way. Be really there for you. It's literally like you take me out of your pocket and have me on your phone, like, it's there. I'm there communicating with you, you can speak to me. I create a personalized plan that works for you and only you. <laughs> Don't know why my pinky is really expressing this, but anyway, the first thing that obviously, um, abs, it, it, for, for people that want to get abs, right? Abs are mostly a temporary thing. And what does it mean? that for, for ab, having abs, first of all, good lighting is key. So right now I'm standing in front of a mirror to try and get like the most out of it. So good lighting will make a difference where whether your abs will be more visible or not. That's why sometimes in a gym you can see them pop a little bit more because gyms usually have more um, better lighting. Um, but obviously, if, even if you're, for example, if you've got a lot of fat around your stomach, even good lighting will not do anything. So, I mean, what I'm saying is that you have to be some kind of lean to have some visible abs. Lighting will play a huge um, different role as well. And also, abs will tend to pop out more right after um, an ab workout because it'll be fired up, okay? However, you can't just get abs from doing an ab workout. So it's important that you actually eat on a calorie deficit. In fact, for me, you know that I've, I've been doing a deficit for a while, literally plaster it all over YouTube and make sure you watch my experience and how I found it and how I did it in my previous video um, if you're interested in how to do it. Because abs are already there. While, for example, your glutes, okay, you have to pump them, you have to grow them to show, abs are already there. Everyone has got abs already. Okay, they're just underneath fat, okay? So depending on how much fat or less fat you have, you'll be able to have them more visible or not, okay? Second thing, genetics, guys. Some people are genetically blessed. I have to say that I'm not in terms of my abs because it takes me a while for me to even show abs. Um, but some people might even eat loads of food and be on a surplus and have visible abs. This is when I want you to stop. And this is when I want you to realize that you can't compare yourself to other people because I used to beat myself up looking at some other influencers and thinking, why do I not have such a lean stomach like them? Well, I might not have a lean stomach, but I might have bigger glutes than them and heavy. And because everyone's still fat, differently to other people, okay? So it's important that you don't beat yourself up for a specific thing. But we can do what we can. This is what I can reach in terms of my potential. And in today's work, I obviously, um, as well as having a good, clean diet that is on a deficit, there's some exercises that are actually better than others for your abs. And today, this is what I'm gonna be showing you and what I've been doing. Anyway, guys, laughing, by the way, is great for your abs. And um, what I was saying is, if you want to have visible abs, don't do like half an hour workout, an hour workout on your abs. Abs are a small muscle. You don't have to do loads like you do for your glutes or for building your legs, your arms, or anything else. Abs are different, a completely different story, okay? So ab workout can help you define and bring that definition a little bit more if you're already lean, okay? So... If, you're, if you've got too much fat and you do ab workouts, nothing will happen. So don't even try. You have to be lean first, okay? So get rid of um, most of the fat 
and then at work I will complement that leanness and make you more defined, okay? Um, for ab workouts, I literally just do this, exactly this circuit that I'm gonna show you right now. Um, three to four times a week, 10 minutes. 10 minutes is enough. You don't have to do any more than that because abs don't need to be hammered, okay? You don't, you, you can't literally grow them. Have you ever seen someone growing abs like you grow your glutes? They go from there to there, so. So, I'll tell you, I've done loads of research on abs recently because I've been very interested in knowing how to target them better. And actually, research shows that one of the most common um, exercises that people do when it comes to abs is a plank, right? What is a plank? If you don't know, I'll just quickly demonstrate you. You just go down and you're like that, right? Static, just holding like that, tensing your abs. While you can feel it to a certain point, there is actually a far better variation of this exercise for your abs. Not that it's, this is a waste of time, but you can do better than this to engage your abs. Because studies show that your abs are great, greatly, greatly, greatly engaged when your limbs move away from your core. What are your limbs? Your arms and your legs. So any exercise that involves you moving your arms away from your core, bringing them back and moving them in any direction. You can see as well how they're stretching. You see, just by me doing this, same thing with your legs, okay? So your focus when doing abs, if you want to really proper engage them, is try to work to strive towards getting your arms away from you, from your core, same thing with your legs. So in this workout, instead of a static plank, we're gonna grab a lovely bowl. Um, you can also use a big medicine bowl, whatever you have there. Now, and I'll show you what to do. Basically a plank on this, it's gonna be a dynamic plank. How do we do it? So, elbows here as if you were doing a plank. Get on top of it and push this away from you and then close from you. To the side, to the side, you can stare the part. Doing loads of different, this tiny little movement and this is so hard. Honestly, it looks like crap, like you literally laugh maybe watching this, but it's so hard and my abs doing like 30 seconds of this will be absolutely crying more than a static plank. I promise you that. Now, if you're a beginner and you struggle a little bit with this, you can do this variation instead, which is a kneeling one, okay? So just so your knees do exactly the same, bringing this back, forward, to the side, staring pot, okay? So I'll do 30 seconds of this, okay? No rest, so you don't rest with this. And then I love doing this, so I'll get rid of that. Watch this coming back to me now. Stay there, stay there. So no rest, remember you can't, you, you don't rest in this, in this circuit. You get down, okay? And we're meals. So you see how I told you that you have to work towards moving your limbs away from your core? In this case, I'm choosing my legs to move away from my core. So from side to side, great for your lower abs as well. Do this 30 to 60 seconds, okay? 60 seconds even better, 30 seconds for a beginner. Crunch side to side, again. Look, my legs coming close to my core and then going out. Again, 30 to 60 seconds of this. And last but not least, dumbbell. Really feeling this. Thirty to 60 seconds. And that it. Then after this, I, I don't rest in between any of these exercises, but then I would rest 
like one 60 seconds to 90 seconds and repeat exactly the same thing three to four times and that kills you. That's more than enough. You don't need anything else. You don't need to do anything more. Do that three times a week minimum and you'll start seeing abs, visible abs. Like, I promise you that. Unless, obviously, given the fact that you're also leaning out and dieting. You can't see abs if you've got a lot of fat around your stomach. That is simply not gonna work. Anyway, for me, that is short and sweet. Um, literally revealing you all the secrets for some abs. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you next time with another video. Always keeping, keeping it real for you for me, yeah. <laughs>